KTSM 9's Mutt Mondays, sponsored by the Animal Services of El Paso. El Paso Animal Services created the Community and Pet Support Program. Here to share how it's reuniting some lost pets in the community is Adan Fada, along with Norma Jean. She's been here before, and I'm so glad you brought her back. She's adorable. Look at her just yeah. laying down. <laughs> so tell us about the program. When did it get started? Uh, we started the, the Community and Pet Support Program in July of last year in, amidst COVID, and um, it's, it's really proving to show a lot of results. Uh, it, it's showing that the community is willing to get the pets that they find out in the streets back to their owners. Uh, the majority of these pets that are out in the streets are, are loved and, and owned by somebody, and we just need to get them back home as opposed to taking them immediately to the shelter. So mm -hmm. if we can just get people to um, fill out a found report via 311 or our website, submit a picture of them, uh, oftentimes they're reunited within a matter of hours. Um, our, our numbers are showing that 38% of the animals that um, are going through this process are actually getting reunited with their owners as opposed to about maybe 16% of those that get go into the shelter reunite with their owners. So, oh, um, really? you know, it's, it's really showing some positive results and, and we're, we're hoping that more of the community will, will follow this, this process to get pets back home. Now, when somebody finds a pet and they fill out that form, uh, should they be getting the pet um, scan for a microchip first, or is that something you do after you fill out that form? Yeah, so um, you're going to definitely want to take it to either one of your local fire stations, um, uh, PetSmart, Petco, or, or a local veterinarian to get scanned for a microchip. That way, when you do fill out that found report, uh, you can provide us with that and we can start all of the research that's required to to try and find out who their owners are and make contact with their owners so that way uh, we can get them back home as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And where can people find this format? The the form you can find, um, e you can either file it on the over the phone with 311 or you can file it um, by going to our website which is elpasoanimalservices.org. Now, once again, you brought in Norma Jean, who's adorable, and she just came in to the studio barking today. She's laid out. <laughs> I think she's ready for a nap. <laughs> it's been a long day for Norma yeah. Jean. Tell us a little bit about her. Who would she be perfect? Which family, which, um, which home would be great for her? So Norma Jean's uh, been with us for about, she's almost going on a year. Maybe in, a, in about a month she'll be with us, already a year. Uh, so we're really looking to, um, you know, she asked me if she could come back today because she <laughs> wants to really find a good home. Uh, she's about three to four years old, and uh, she does like activity. She likes to get out to the dog park, um, really excited, really maybe out to the hiking trails. Um, but once she gets all, all that energy out, she's just like this. She likes to relax and, and just be by her, her loved one. Aw, looks like she's... She's had a lot of energy already yeah. been used throughout the day. Thank you, Adan, so much for joining us once again today. And again, we'll have all this information on our website, ktsm.com. Thank you.